Hey guys, I got a special video for you today. We're going to explore a little bit of electrochemistry and we're going to match it to that worksheet that you were working on last class. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this copper chloride solution and I'm going to pour it into the YouTube. All right, and then I'm going to take these clips and put them with a little bit of a pole on the top, okay? And then I'm going to attach a red wire and a black wire. So there's the black wire. And here's the red wire. And now, based on the work that you guys did last class, you know from a prediction which one of these two is going to generate chlorine and which one is going to generate copper. So let's see if your prediction is correct. Let's take a look at this, watch it roll, and I'm going to turn this on and you'll be able to see the amount of voltage that is passing through the system, the amperage through the system, at the same time that you're watching this happen. So I'm just going to click the power button and we're going to roll. And what we notice happening here is there are some bubbles that are forming right here on this red side. And then we don't see much happening on the black side, but that's okay because we're just going to let this roll a little bit more and then we'll take a, a look at if any of the copper actually formed on this black side here. All right, I think that is enough. I'm starting to see some stuff down there. So I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to disconnect my two. And now, let's take a look. There's some copper, nice copper, starting to form on the end of that. Looks a little shiny, um, or it's hard to see the glare and the light. Well, let's see if we can get it better on this one. You got some copper starting to form. So, was your prediction correct or were you backwards? Do you have the cathode and anode ra uh, labeled properly? So let's talk about that in class. I'll see you there.